Sophie from REST Community, and today I want to talk to you about notification apps which can be replacement to the stock notification app if you don't like it and you're looking for something else. So I will present at least three Bluetooth notification apps, but I also show you two more different or maybe three more different that don't use a Bluetooth, but also you can get notification if you use a SIM card. So let's start with first of the of notification app is called Swaplink. Now, this app, first of all, let's start f show you something. This app isn't anymore on the Play Google Play Store because the developer has stopped um, working on it, stopped supporting it, so you cannot find it on Google Play Store. You just have to Google Swapling um, APK and you will, will find it. And I will leave a link where to download it. Um, go. First of all, I'm going to show you on both smartwatches. I'm using, oh, I'm off focus. Okay, sorry. I'm going to show you this one will be the phone, this one will be the watch. Um, I'm going to show you how to do so. I've downloaded it, the, the IPK I've downloaded to my computer and then transfer it to my watch. Go to your files where you put it. I don't put it in downloads. Okay. Look for swap link. There it is. Install it. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know. Cancel it. Start from the beginning. Next. Okay, maybe. It has to do with round and full. Yeah, it has to do with red and full. Stalling. Okay, let's do the same on the watch. Go to File Manager. Look at the place that you've put it. I've done, again put it in downloads. Where it is, there it is. Again, it doesn't work. Yeah, okay. Then. There it is. Click, click on it. I will come back to this. First, I want to do this with the watch. Done. Okay. It seems that it just doesn't seem you don't see it well on the watch. Yeah, that way you see it. Okay. Locate it where it is. Yeah, there it is. Swap link. Okay. Now look, with square display, it doesn't work. I have to go to full. I want to start with this, but just a sec. I have to change. It seems I have to change. No, 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 no. I have to change resolution. Uh, yeah, let's put it on low for the sake of the video. Let's go back to swap link. So 
for a blank. Yeah. Now, as you can see, down below, you can see, just a sec, you see the next. Click on it, click on it, change you. Now, I'm going to call this the i7, the i7. This is the companion, okay? Make sure this is the companion. Next. Call whatever you want, your master, the phone, I mean, your smartphone, call it. My, my experience, I call it the name of the phone. That my, my phone is Galaxy Note 5, so I call it Note 5. I would call Lem 4 Pro. Done. Next. Next. All of this you can also change when, in, if you want to. It's never too late. You have settings. Go back to settings and just change whatever you want to change. I will. Okay, that is just medium. Uh, Bluetooth. Do you want to enable? Okay, let's say yes. By the way, if you want manually, say no. Again, you can change it. It's never auto boot Bluetooth if you want. Um, for now, I'm just going to say no. Um, push, yes. Always you can go back here and change it to square to see what it means. And then go back here and continue. Think connections, yes. Push ping, yes. Device road, this is the one, it's going to be the companion. The one that receive the notification lock screen. No, you want lock screen, you can even say yes. And again, you don't like it, you can change it. Uh, no. Better low, uh, an optional, you want, yes. You don't want, no. I say I'm gonna say no. Um, what's that? Oh, ring gear tray moved. Uh, no. For now, no. Next, 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 next. Check this out. If you are pleased with what you've... If you're not, go pre previous here, okay? So, yes. Swap link. Now close to apply your settings, okay. I will be back to this. Let's start now with the phone. Um, next. Next. Crappy crap. Next. Okay, local name. This one I'm gonna call. Just a sec. Okay. Uh, I've changed the the brightness so you can see this one I will call as I get said the lamp for lamp no 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 not lamp lamp for pro pro okay lamp for pro Next, remote name, the companion, your smartwatch. The companion is, as I said, i7. No, not j7, i7. No, 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 i7. Next, icon size, you want big, you want small. If you want big, you can change it. If you don't like it, you can go back to settings and change to small. Menu color, uh, let's now say next. Everything can be changed. Full screen, yes. High scan, medium, I'm gonna say. Bluetooth, oh yes. This is the master, be ready. 
auto bit will do auto connection. This is your call whether you want it to auto connect and reopen your Bluetooth or not. I prefer not and do it manually. It's kind of control. Push, of course. Sync connection, uh, yes. Push ping, of course. Device world master. This is the master. The smartphone is the master. Okay. Your smartwatch need to be the companion. The smartphone need to be the master. Next. Remote install. Yes, of course. Everything that you need. Oh no, crappy crap. No, please don't. Oh yeah, I forgot. I thought it can sync connection. Yes. Watch sim. No. Okay. For now, I'm gonna say no, but. My smartwatch has SIM, so if I'm using Swapling, I will say yes, and I will put this, the number of the, the SIM that in the watch here, because most likely I will get, not just, I'm, I think I'm gonna get the calls on the watch with this app, but I'm not sure, okay? So if you have a SIM, just put it, okay? For now, I'm just gonna say no, because the i7 does not have a SIM in it. The SIM is in this watch. Next. Notification? Yes, of course. Now, okay. Go to swapping. Click yes. Okay. Go back. Um, go back. Next. Con oh, by, by the way, the, the plus thing is uh, which app you want notification from. Call notification, yep. Say SMS notification, yep. Remote launch, yes, but I'm gonna say no. Remote launch, I mean which app you want to remote control on your phone, okay? That's cool because there are many apps you can control from your watch via the phone, okay? So I'm now gonna say no, but again, it will, if you say yes, it will get you to up the plus and you click the plus and we'll give you the option which apps you want to control remotely. But for now, I'm gonna say no. Check it out again alone if you wanna know what it is and you can always change it. Don't be afraid to examine your watch, what this app can do and what can not do. You can always reset everything and start over or just go to setting and change it. Next, low battery, for now, no. Ring mode. Um, no. Information, next. BT Trouble, next. Indicator, next. Remote Control, next. Mini Help, next. Review, again, look over what you did, and then confirm. Information, swap with blue, okay. That's it. Now let's open both apps. You see, the i7. Click on it. Um, sync for devices. Okay, I have to go to Square and look for it. The Level Pro. Yes. Yes. And okay. Close. See, I will do this with a press bump because it takes time, so I will propose it. Let's go to full. No, 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 no. Let's go to full screen. You can guess. Some. Okay. Don't care for now. Close. Oh, that's nice. I want to show you something here on your smartwatch when it's in full display. This is the full display, as I showed you. Now let's show you here. Amazing. Everything you want is here. Everything. Now I'm going to show you they are connected. First of all, let's look for your phone. Let's look for your phone. Now let's look for your watch. I like it. 
that's it that is the swapling app which is wonderful easy to use but as I said you have to remember there is no support no improvement no updates from the developer of the app and you cannot find it on Google Play Store so if you like it use it if you don't like it I will show you more option by the way do you see the Bluetooth icon up okay just a sec let's zoom oh let's zoom okay there it is when it's blue that means the phone and your watch are connected when it's red that means it's not connected and you have to look for why same here let's go to square display to show you see oh no just a sec you see on the left corner okay when it's red that means they are not connected when they are blue they are connected okay that's it i hope you enjoyed stay tuned for other notification apps i'm going to show you and hope you enjoy it and subscribe and if you have any question just leave downstairs with tag my name sonia 9697 and i will reply thank you